Let's get more on what is clearly a controversial uh, topic. Henok Tafaro joins us, Ethiopia's ambassador here in Paris. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, thank you for joining us here in France 24. We appreciate your time. The uh, Democratic Republic uh, of Congo President Felix uh, Shishikedi, who's now, of course, uh, leading the African Union, uh, says uh, the people of all three countries concerned have a right to water, food and health. Do you agree with that statement? Absolutely. We agree so much so that Ethiopia, which generates about 86% of the Nile waters, currently benefits from zero drop of water. For us, it's a matter of life and death. 65 million people in Ethiopia, that's approximately the population of France, have no access to electricity. The situation cannot go on. So as a matter of survival, we believe a win-win solution is possible and that can benefit not just Ethiopia, but the region or the riparian countries as a whole. Egypt's President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi clearly making it uh, plain to you that if Egypt's water supply is affected in any possible way, there could be a very dire consequences. Are you confident this can be avoided? We are confident that through negotiation, a win-win solution can be found. We have an AU African Union-led process that is in place. Uh, we believe that this uh, dam, which, will, which is built solely to generate electricity, meaning it will not retain any water except for the period of filling the reservoir, this dam will benefit not only Ethiopia, it will also benefit the Sudan, it will also benefit Egypt. So really, uh, we feel that uh, the concerns are misplaced. Uh, we can all benefit from it. The biggest concern that we should have at this stage is rather a climate change one, because as you know, deforestation will affect and is affecting the flow of the water. So Ethiopia has embarked upon a major campaign to reforest the region. It is planning to plant 6 billion trees this year. It had planted 5 billion trees last year. So really together we can make the whole riparian area a win-win for all of us. You're making it sound very positive from your perspective, and I can see and hear, and I know there is a need for this electricity that you're talking about to help everybody across Ethiopia. It is vital that that happens. Nonetheless, what you're saying isn't um, calming the concerns of people in Sudan and Egypt, even though you say it's win-win. No, I, I, I think that what has to be understood is that this dam is meant to generate electricity and electricity alone. So the flow of the water will not be affected. And as a matter of principle, Ethiopia, which has never been able to use a single drop of the water of the Nile, although it generates 86% of the waters whose population lives under poverty, whose 65 million people do not have access to electricity, they need to develop as well. They need to have uh, food on the table. So it's really, it cannot be one side wins and the other side lose. We, we can come up with a win-win solution that satisfies all of us. That, I think, and that we believe is the way forward in the 21st century. I'm clearly getting your message, uh, the head of Tafara, that you think it can be win-win. Uh, nonetheless, uh, we're still hearing from Egypt and Sudan, they don't feel that way, they're still concerned. Do you think their concerns are misplaced? I think all the technical issues can be resolved, and most of it actually has been resolved when the dam is filled, during which period it is filled. We have gone to great lengths to satisfy many of the concerns of our Egyptian and Sudanese brothers and sisters. Therefore, I don't think that the, the, the hype and the, the, uh, the uh, heightened concerns are, are, are really uh, justified. Uh, we can come up with a solution that can satisfy all of us. And again, uh, what we are trying to change is a historical injustice whereby we, Ethiopia, generating 86% of the water, using none of it, are asking and are going to use it to satisfy our basic needs, our basic development needs. Ethiopians have the right to live decently, just like uh, our brothers in Egypt and our brothers in, in the Sudan. Hey, Dr. Farid, the talks underway in Kinshasa. Are you confident that by the end of this, there can be an accord, there can be a, 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 a concerted agreement to go forward? 
If all sides negotiate in good faith, under the African Union-led process, the solution that satisfies all of us is possible. We have to negotiate in good faith and allow uh, this resource, which doesn't belong to just the Ethiopia, uh, Sudan or Egypt, it belongs actually to all riparian countries, becomes a source of uh, cooperation and development for all of us. And Dr. Farah, Egypt's, uh, sorry, Ethiopia's uh, ambassador uh, here in France. Thank you, sir, for joining us to tell us more about the uh, negotiations uh, underway in Kinshasa over the future of the uh, great uh, Ethiopian dam uh, across the Blue Nile, the $5 billion project to create a hydroelectricity generating process uh, to help uh, Ethiopia and, according to the ambassador there, countries alongside Sudan, Egypt. Thank you, sir, very much indeed for joining us. We're, of course, watching for all developments.